Okay, this is our high velocity oxygen fuel spray welding system or HVOF as we term it. And what this is primarily is a chrome replacement uh, for hydraulic cylinder rods. Uh, and, and what it is in, in Maryland, you can't chrome any longer. So uh, this really does uh, help us eliminate a lot of downtime for our customers. The application uh, is fairly quick. We can also, uh, it's a little more impervious to uh, environmental uh, issues such as uh, salts in, in the water that we're near. It's also impervious to some uh, minor impacts. So it does have the same properties as chrome, uh, just a little bit uh, uh, more durable than the chrome process. And what we have is uh, three areas that, that uh, comprise this area. One is the uh, grit blast room, which is actually where we remove the existing chrome off the hydraulic cylinder rod. Uh, very simple process, it just spins and basically uh, blasts the chrome off. It goes down, the sand, it is a grit, it goes down into a, a sieve. It's recycled a number of times uh, and then when it's uh, passed, it, it's not effective any longer. It's actually put into a drum and that's disposed of. Uh, after it's, the uh, rod is uh, grit blasted and there's no chrome left on it, then we have the application process uh, over to the right here where the material is actually applied. Th this is a soundproof room. Uh, this material is actually applied at 70,200 feet per second, which is greater than the speed of sound. Uh, it's actually blasted onto the rod. What it is, the mixture of carbide, chrome, and nickel uh, goes through a flame. It's, it's a propylene fueled system and it's actually blasted right onto the uh, rod so it, 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 it becomes part of the base metal. Uh, and in the application process, depending on the diameter and the length of the rod, maybe two hours, maybe three hours, it depends on what thickness you need, whether it's three or four thousandths per side, and naturally the length and diameter of the rod. When this is completed, uh, there's a cooling process and after the rod's cool enough just to handle, it's brought over here to the finishing area. And in this process, the, the material that we apply uh, is uh, too hard to cut with a machine tool. So it has to be some type of diamond uh, material to uh, finish this rod. Uh, what we uh, use now is uh, an oscillating, rotating belt sander. And along with that, we use diamond grit belts in various uh, grits. It's all fully quenched. And again, once we start this up, uh, it's set on limit switches, just travels back and forth. Uh, and as the rod is polished, uh, it becomes a, a, almost like a bright chrome. And then we do have to sit there and we do monitor the diameter of the rod to make sure it's within the tolerance of the, the cylinder head and the rod. So this is a very critical part of the operation.